Hi everyone, it's Shonda here, and I just wanted to put together a little video for you guys. Um, after this morning's boot camp, 6 o'clock a.m. boot camp, and a great conversation with the campers this morning, I just really felt like, you know, I would love to just talk with everybody about the subject that came up today in boot camp. So it all started like this. I asked all the campers, you know, how do you feel like you're doing? in relation to boot camp, in relation to your goals and your progress, how do you feel like you're doing? And one of the campers told me, you know, I feel like I'm getting better. Uh, my clothes are fitting better. I'm feeling better about myself. But every day I look in the mirror and sometimes it feels like I'm going nowhere. You know, I'm not going fast enough um, in relation to my goals. Or if I look at some of the other campers who may be doing better than I, sometimes it makes me feel like, I'm not doing good enough. And I thought that this was just perfect. Perfect for not only the campers that were there, but for other people who are striving towards any goal, any health and fitness goal, any life goal that you have. Sometimes when we're going through the goal, we feel like we're not going fast enough. We're not getting there fast enough. We're not getting the results fast enough. You know, I can't fit in these jeans fast enough. I can't... Um, do whatever my goal is fast enough. It just cannot happen fast enough. And so I just thought that it was, it was so good for us to have that conversation. And one of the other campers stepped up, and she brought up a very common story that you probably all heard, but it was so perfect in the timing. She brought up the tortoise and the hare, right? And that story is excellent when it comes to goal setting, when it comes to anything that we're trying to do in life. And realizing that we don't have to do it so quickly. The tortoise and the hare basically is a life lesson learning of that the race is not given to the swift, but to the one who endures to the end. And I think that was a really great moment and a, a sharing worthy moment because a lot of times we just get so, you know, we, we have competitive spirits and that's a good thing. But at the same time, it can sometimes stifle your progress because we're looking at someone else who may seem like they're leaps and bounds ahead of where you are. But at the same time, we shouldn't really be in competition with that person. We should be in competition more so with ourselves, always striving to be our better selves. Because when you look at someone else, it may seem like, you know, her abs are way flatter than mine. His calves are way bigger than mine. His pecs are way bigger than mine. You know, whatever, you know, in comparison, it may just seem like you're going nowhere, but not really being in competition with yourself or like the tortoise and the hare, being in competition with someone who seems like they're leaps and bounds, but really just chugging along. <laughs> Keep going, right? Because if you get to the finish line, you're a winner. You are an absolute winner because you endured you didn't get wrapped up in the numbers and the, the time it takes and things like that, but you endured. And I just thought that that was just so worthy of being shared and, and just an encouragement to other people. So the whole purpose of the video is to basically talk with other people, get a little chat going, I guess, to see who else out there is in trying to endure this race in life, in your goals, and whatever the case may be, and just basically speaking on and as an encouragement to others how rewarding it is to see it to the end um, and I really hope that whatever your goals are that you're really not getting caught up in the time frame but really just giving your all in the moment your all in making sure that you stick to whatever your goals whatever habit changing goals you have whatever self-improvement goals you have that you're sticking through it to the end so that is all from my end um, I would love to hear from you guys love to hear your testimony your trials your tribulations whatever so that you've gotten to the end just to be an encouragement to others I hope you guys have an excellent day thanks so much for listening in talk to you soon